This is the ETBU Sports Net. We're here with head men's soccer coach, Paul Grant. Coach, uh, you're coming off a, a good weekend there. The Tigers pick up a win over Louisiana College on Saturday. You have a, a tough loss on Friday against Belhaven. Recap that weekend for us. Yeah, Friday, uh, a good game. Uh, you, you know, playing a team that's just new to our conference uh, in Belhaven. Uh, very successful in their NAIA world. Uh, I felt like it was a, a definitely good result result for us um, to be able to compete uh, with a team like that. Uh, and then uh, you, you get ready for Saturday um, after it cools off about 10 or 15 degrees from 95 to 80 uh, outside and uh, play play a good team in Louisiana College. Uh, they, they seem to be down in numbers, so uh, they, they sat behind the ball uh, the majority of the game. Um, and, and, and in doing so, it allowed us to obviously get more than enough chances. Uh, we definitely uh, made a mistake early in the first half that uh, allowed them to score on, on a miscommunication uh, between our back and our keeper. Um, but, you know, uh, to, to, to have possession like we did, um, it was just uh, rather uh, stressful, for lack of words, that uh, it took us, uh, you know, the last uh, latter part of the game to not only score and tie it, uh, but uh, then to score and go ahead. This weekend, you face two teams that you've already faced again in the regular season, just non-conference, UTD and Howard Payne on the road. How do you use what you have from Saturday and what you've seen this season to roll into this this weekend? Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. Obviously, uh, you lose to a UTD team uh, 5-0 first time around and a uh, Howard Payne a 2-1 around, 2-1 last time around. Uh, obviously, they've gotten better. We've definitely gotten better. Uh, you know, so I, I look forward to the matchup. Uh, obviously, uh, there are things that we'll look at and, and look back at our notes that uh, that happened during both those matches, and and, and make and make and makes I'm sure some small adjustments uh, and, and get ready to, uh, to 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 get to get ready to match up against a couple of tough teams and uh, get ready for this weekend and uh, definitely need to get some results. Talk about the Louisiana College game and the grittiness of your team that last 15 minutes to come down 1-0 and score. Two goals in that 15 minutes for the win and a conference win in itself. Yeah, I mean, that that was great. I, you know, I said this to somebody the other day. I mean, obviously it's a game you, you definitely – anybody was watching, you, you felt like you should have won. Uh, but to, way, to win the way we did, I, I, I think I would take it that way. Uh, it, it showed uh, the grind that we've been in. I think it showed that uh, we are a team that, that will not stop. We'll continue to fight. Um, and and the, the, the best thing was to have two goals come from somebody who hasn't scored before. Uh, Danilo Martin uh, and hitting, a, for me, probably one of, the, one of the, the best goals I've seen in a long time uh, on, on a volley from about 23 yards out. Um, and then, you know, Pedro or, or, or to, to, to step up on a corner kick and, 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 and bury it and, and to go ahead with, you know, with minutes left. I mean, it was a great feeling. I and mean, I'll be honest, it was for me, but it was great to see the guys. It was great to see the guys battle through what they had to battle through, a game they know they sh they, sh they should get a result, but it didn't come easy. And, and, and you know, they found a way to, to get it done. And I can't be more happier about that. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us here on the ETBU Sportsnet.